Here we... Hello everyone and welcome to Sonic Unleashed. This time we are doing the Chunan Day Stage and I have some bad news for you. This stage is kind of a blight on the Day Stages. And don't get me wrong, it's not because of the level design. There's some excellent platforming segments here. The problem is that the timer is far too lenient. That 3 minute and 10 seconds up there, that might as well be an eternity. What I'm saying is that you don't really even have to try to get the S rank. I take, I think, one shortcut the entire level. But for the most part, you can just completely dick around and flub it. They give the player way too much time. And in a game that's already this easy, that's, that's a problem. I did suggest previously that the game should force you to S-rank all of the stages, otherwise you would miss out on a lot of the design. But even if you did force the player to S-rank all of the stages, that wouldn't fix this one. I do a terrible, almost entirely mindless job on this one, and it turns out perfectly fine. This is the only shortcut I remember taking, by the way, this one right here. And sure, that saved a couple seconds, but that shouldn't have been enough by itself. I feel like 2 minutes and 50 seconds might have been a much more reasonable time uh, for the S rank. That's really just a rough guess though. And I definitely understand, you know, you don't want to frustrate the player by making the S rank time too difficult. But S ranks are supposed to be something you have to work for, that's why they're S ranks. There's no shame in making it hard. Most of the S ranks in the game are actually difficult to get. In fact, I would go so far as to say that trying to get the S ranks is the only difficulty in the day stages. Like, if you were just playing the day stages to get through them and didn't care about your rank, you wouldn't have any trouble. You aren't going to lose or anything like that. The timer is really the only challenge. Surfing on Water is my favorite addition that this level brings to the table, by the way. It controls really well and it feels cool. And in one specific later day stage, you can get some pretty sick shortcuts with it. You can still get shortcuts with it here, but I didn't see any reason for that because, again, this level is a complete piece of cake, and I wanted to illustrate how terrible the S rank time is. I, like, I completely flubbed that entire section. In any other level, I would be restarting right now, but I just... You know, whatever. And I missed that rainbow ring. Normally I would be bothered by that, but who cares? This is the Chunan Day stage. You don't have to try here or anything. Don't be silly. I have no boost. Doesn't matter. Look at this long straight pathway where I'm not boosting at all. It isn't important in the slightest. In case it's not clear, this level really depresses me. Oh, hey, more water surfing. That should make me feel a little better. We're getting near the end now, by the way. I think it's like right up here, actually. Yeah, there it is. So with that out of the way, we have your regular Get All the Rings side mission. We're going to use this opportunity to talk about more Sonic game design. So unlike this game and all the other 3D Sonic games, the stages are challenging even when you aren't trying to S-rank them. It varies depending on which game you're playing, of course, but the idea is that there should always be some challenge regardless of which rank you're going for. Which is commendable. But in this game in particular, the levels are designed in such a way that it only seems to be challenging if you're trying to S-rank them. To make things even easier and more simplified, the only factor that influences your rank in the day stages is how fast you go. Not how many rings you have, not how many enemies you've defeated, just how fast you are. That's a huge departure from the other 3D games as well. Hopefully that sheds some more light on why I think the S-rank should be the only rank. The day stages in this game just seem so awkwardly balanced to me. Forcing the player to S-rank them would mean that most of the time they get to see all of the design. But in some cases, like Chunan, as you've seen, that's not the case. And it's not just Chunan. In many of the other stages, there are optional pathways that I assume are meant to be better for the player, but are actually worse because they take longer. 
These optional pathways look a lot fancier and require a lot more skill, but because they take longer, they're essentially useless. This is different than the other 3D games where a slightly longer pathway might potentially get you more score by letting you pick up more rings or defeat more enemies, but in this game right here, speed is the only thing that influences your rank, so those fancier optional pathways are entirely useless and excessive. Sure, they look nice, but that's not what you're here to do. You're here to get that S rank. So we end up skipping a lot of those fancy pathways in this game, though toward the end we will be using them more because they do actually help then. Welcome to the boss battle against the Egg Devil Ray, and this boss has a really cool visual design, a really nice idea behind its pattern progression. And it starts out simple, for the first phase we just need to stay toward the center of the Egg Devil Ray and away from the lasers at its sides. Now it's going to switch up and turn things two-dimensional on us. It'll use its options to fire lasers that we're meant to jump over, but we're just going to tank a hit so that way we can hit it early. Tanking this hit really doesn't matter because there's such an abundance of rings in the level. As long as you're sure to pick up the next trail of rings, you'll get that boost back. After that brief diversion, it switches back to 3D, and we just need to stay toward its center again to avoid the lasers at its sides. It is moving side to side more quickly this time, so we need to stay on the ball. You might have also noticed the holes in the road beneath us that we could potentially fall into, but as long as we're moving fast enough, we'll skate right over them. Kind of like some kind of supersonic superhero. So yeah, the pattern is really predictable so far. You might have guessed it's going to switch back to 2D again, for example. And just like before, it doesn't really matter if we get hit during the 2D section because there will be a trail of rings we can pick up again after it's over. So basically, we get a free hit. But when it switches back to 3D this time, we get a bit of a surprise. Because this time the Egg Devil Ray is going top down on us, and in addition to the lasers at its sides, it now fires a bullet spread out of its front. 
This is a bit tricky because we want to stay close so we can hit the Egg Devil Ray when the shield lowers. But staying close also means it's a lot more difficult to dodge the bullet spread. As you can see here, I'm jumping over the bullet spread the best I can, but I still got hit a few times by the lasers while I was distracted. That's actually a really nice addition to the pattern and adds slightly more for the player to pay attention to without making it overwhelming. However, I will admit that you can still be a bit reckless because of the abundance of rings. For example, I get hit way too many times here for my liking, but I still turn out fine because there are just so many ring trails. Oh, and I suppose that's something I really should talk about. I haven't yet because I don't really lose any rings most of the time. Unlike other Sonic games, in this one you don't lose all of your rings when you get hit. You only lose enough to lose one boost bar. So you theoretically have as many hits as you have boost bars. This is yet another reason why the day stages are not difficult unless you're trying to S-rank them, and why S-ranking them should be mandatory. Anyway, after this last top-down section, we're finally done with the Egg Devil Ray boss, and I was never concerned about getting an S-rank because we have plenty of time. As long as you hit the Egg Devil Ray every time it's vulnerable, you should get that S-rank. Bad toy, but playtime's over, pal!